One of the most expensive referendums on the November ballot failed. Lacrosse voters rejected that nearly $195 million school referendum. News 8 Now's Dua Srar spoke to the superintendent who says he is disappointed. Amy Superintendent Aaron Engel and Board President Juan Jimenez called the referendum the last opportunity for a new school, and they're not sure what to do next. <laughs> Lacrosse voters headed to the polls. It was great to see in numbers what we had been hearing. To deliver a blow to the school district of Lacrosse. This was really the, the last opportunity that, that I see unless something radically changes. 69% of voters rejected the school district of La Crosse's referendum. The community chose not to, to choose that path. The district wanted to consolidate La Crosse's two high schools into one new building on the former train site. Many community members spoke out against the proposal. Vote No Representative Vicki Markison says the referendum was rushed. This isn't saying no to education, it's just saying not this plan. The school district already made a $300,000 down payment. Superintendent Aaron Engel says it's unlikely the district will get a refund. The amount of money is relatively small considering the price of the property and more importantly given the opportunity that that presented to our, our community. On the one hand they're telling teachers they can't pay for raises and then they pay this money so optically it just looks really challenging. Engel says although he's disappointed the district is looking forward to creating a new plan. A regroup reassess to think about our, our path forward. Uh, this election has given us new information to work with. Markison says she wants the district to include every voice in the community. These are very diverse voices and we need to make sure that it's all incorporated into a new plan. One of the reasons community members criticized the plan was because they felt there wasn't enough transparency. The school district says they did everything they could to communicate. Markison says before a new plan is made, the district will have to regain community trust. All right, thank you, Dua. In a statement to News 8 Now, the Vote Yes group said that while they are also disappointed, they will support the district as they regroup and move forward.